So we've been looking at different priority areas that should have a high degree of connectivity. And another dimension to this analysis is to look at clusters of activity spaces. See where they are and whether they're well connected and see if we can find a way to kind of take advantage of the clustering of these activities and the synergies that they create. So I'm going to go ahead and open the parcel layer. And I'm going to differentiate this parcel layer by use type. And we have four different use types. So I'm going to go to Categorized, and I'm going to select the column Use Type. Uh, for my color ramp, I think I'm going to take Spectral and click on Classify. You see we have 0. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. That's pretty hard to read. You wouldn't really be able to visually pick out your clusters of activity spaces very well. So let's think about what we're defining as interesting clusters. And let's use our color to uh, help us differentiate. So basically, we want to look at the use type 0 and the use type 4, which is commercial space and public uses. So anything other than, you know, most of the important uses that aren't residential. So where we have commercial and public kind of clustered together, those might be candidates for areas where you want to increase connectivity. So to look at this visually, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors so that we can read this a little better. So I changed the colors so that I just am seeing the commercial and the civic uses or public uses so I can really pick out visually where these clusters are. And then at this point we're going to create a new layer that's going to have areas selected where these clusters are. So go ahead and click on this icon down here, New Shapefile Layer. If you're using an older version of QGIS, you might want to go to your, um, I believe this menu is all the same, Layer, New, New Shapefile Layer. And pay attention to what kind of layer you're creating, whether it's a point, a line, or a polygon. In our case, we want to create a polygon. And at this uh, what you can do here is add attributes to this layer. Like if you want to name the different areas you're going to create. Uh, I'm just going to click through this um, and go right to the Save As interactive dialog box here. And I'm going to call this um, Clusters of... I'm just going to call it Clusters. How about that? Okay, so here's our new layer, and there's nothing in it. If you were to right-click here and open the attribute table, you'd see that there's absolutely nothing in there. But what you want to do now is edit this layer so that you can add to it. Now you want to toggle on editing of this new layer that you just created. So toggle editing. And then I'm going to click on rectangle by extent and these are your drawing tools right here. Now this is a little different than the older versions of QGIS. So I'm clicking in here and this looks like an interesting place for activity spaces and I could give that a number and that creates our first area. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit can see what I'm doing and maybe if you don't like that to be uh, just a solid box because you can't see what you're doing you can go in and change that to just an outline but let's go back in here and keep adding our rectangles here's an area over here that I think would be a good 
activity space I'm just going to give it an ID of 2. If you had created attributes they would all be listed here in this box and you would begin to add those attributes. And let's say you decide there's another activity space here. Continue to give it a number. Maybe you want to zoom out a little bit. Oops! Too much zooming. Uh, this looks like a good cluster here. Okay, maybe I don't want to zoom out quite that much. Make sure you've got that box selected. There we go. Okay, and when you're done adding your areas that you think are good candidates for really looking at the connectivity going on within these clusters of two kinds of important uses, uh, when you're done with all that, then you're going to toggle that editing off. It'll ask you if you want to save it, and you say yes. And here's where I would go in and change that fill. You could have done this ahead of time, too. Uh, I'm going to say no brush, and then on the pen, I'm going to change this color to be something nice and bright so I can really see where these spaces are, maybe make it a little bit thicker. Actually I'm going to make that even thicker still. I'm going to make that a 1 at least. Okay, so here's where we have identified these two kinds of uses and we really want to go in and look at these areas that have these interesting clusters. I think this mix of public and commercial space that's not on the main commercial strips, those are areas that in particular you might want to highlight and take a look at. I see there's another one over here. There's others that could be added for sure.